What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Shadowgun War Games video. So season two is just around the corner and I absolutely cannot wait. It's going to bring friends lists. It's going to bring clans. We're going to have ranked. We're going to have leaderboards. But in this video, I'm going to show you five tips that is going to help improve your gameplay when playing Shadowgun War Games. Now, at the end of last month, I gave away 5,000 in-game credits worth £42. And I'm going to be giving away another 5,000 credits at the end of March. All you have to do is be subscribed. Hit a like on the video. Drop any comment down below letting me know what you think about the game. And without further ado, enjoy the rest of this video. Let's go. Yeah. Baby girl, you're so damn fine, no Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, though When it's over, I press for wine, though Talking bands, I got it Benjamins in my pocket Okay, so welcome back to another video, guys. So in this one, like I said in the intro, I'm going to be showing you five random tips to help improve your gameplay and show you some things that you may not have known about before, uh, which helped me as well. So uh, we're going to go into uh, tip number one, uh, which is basically settings. So tip number one, guys, is aim sensitivity. Now, the aim sensitivity in this game, uh, the standard default is 50. But 50, even having it on 50, it is super fast. So I've fiddled around with the sensitivity and the best optimized sensitivity I found in the game is between 20 to 25. I like to choose 25 because I like mine a bit higher. If you want yours a bit lower, go around 20. Um, they're, in my opinion, the best uh, sort of settings. And the ADS as well, you don't really need to change that. You can just have that on standard 50. Tip number two in settings is your custom fire mode settings between every single gun. Now, the developers at Madfinger Games have added in uh, this ability to be able to uh, change each gun um, custom it or specifically. So, assault rifles, SMG, shotguns. You might want to copy mine um, because all you need to change on this really is Willow Sniper to have one tap ADS which means when you hold your button down and release it's basically release to fire so you can just shoot it so you don't actually have to scope in or double tap the screen to do one tap ADS and on SMGs one tap ADS as well. All the others you want to just have on hip fire um, and in number three, tip number three I'll show you why. Here is tip number three, which is your custom layout. Now, if you're using a mobile phone, uh, you're generally going to be using two thumbs. So you want to kind of custom your layout to customize your layout to, to cater to your two thumbs. So I personally use a, a tablet, a Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. So um, the best, uh, well, I use four fingers, which is my two forefingers and my two thumbs. So if you guys want to copy this, I have my abilities in the top left. I have my fire mode in the top right with my uh, fire button as well as my targets uh, in the top right, my ADS. Got my weapons uh, down in the bottom right as well, which helps me switch really quickly on my right thumb. Um, so feel free to copy this. Uh, tip number three is basically just to have the, your perfect custom layout. Everyone's going to have their different preferences. Um, but make sure you customize it to what, however many fingers and thumbs you're using. Okay, so tip number four, guys, is what I like to call the little yellow can. As you can see right here, it's basically a little yellow speed boost and damage boost can that you can collect. It has a timer on it, so I think it regenerates every 60 seconds. And it basically, as soon as you collect it, it gives you a, a huge speed uh, speed boost. It uh, gives you a damage boost as well. So if you're around a team of enemies and you see one of these shiny little yellow cans, make sure you pick it up because it gives you a massive advantage against enemies. As you can see right here, this is my uh, gameplay with Willow. Uh, just showing you the one-tap ADS as well, how powerful it is just like that. Um, so that basically is tip number four. Make sure you collect those little yellow cans. Okay, and tip number five, guys, is what I like to call the little ability time pod. 
Basically, when your abilities are regenerating and you're waiting for them to appear again, you can pick this little timer capsule up and it basically regenerates your abilities even quicker. So you can uh, quickly use, I don't know, Willow's, uh, Willow's Sniper, Supercharge, and then quickly pick that up and you can use her Supercharge again. So make sure you pick these up when you're waiting for your abilities to recharge. Okay, so that's basically it guys. So I hope these tips have helped you. If they have, let me know in the comments exactly what you think. And do not forget, I'm still giving away 5,000 credits at the end of March. All you have to do is be subscribed, tune into the live streams, check out the videos, hit a like, and just enjoy. So again, let me know in the comments what you think. And I will see you in the next video or stream. Peace!